Sawadika and hello to everyone joining me at PGTV News. My name is Abel Wanamagog. In an update to the protests in Kata on January 11th, which blocked the Kata Yai and Kata Noi intersection, police held talks with tourist businesses on Tuesday morning about extending the time cement mixers are prohibited from operating in the area by an additional two hours. Current regulations ban the trucks from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. However, villagers in the area have requested that the trucks be banned from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. during the high season until April. On January 11th, a Chalong concrete cement truck crashed into a van and a motorbike, causing the death of the van driver and leaving the motorcyclist hospitalized with serious injuries. The accident was caught on CCTV. This led to a three-hour roadblock by angry residents at the Kata intersection on Sunday night, during which time only motorcycles were allowed. The Chalong Concrete Cement Truck Company has agreed to pay compensation to the families of the victims. Phuket City Prison discharged 360 prisoners in 2008. However, they were not granted an official pardon from His Majesty the King Pomipon Adureadit or Her Majesty the Queen Sirikit before their release. Phuket City Prison currently houses 1,100 inmates, including 110 women and 20 Europeans. Almost half were arrested for drug-related crimes. Statistics released by the prison reveal that 4% of those released went on to commit further offenses and were subsequently re-arrested. Phuket City Prison has developed a program designed to educate offenders in a bid to help them secure gainful employment following their release and to avoid re-offending. In 2008, the program worked with 12 prisoners, five of whom went on to graduate in their studies. A fire broke out on a diving yacht in Aoyang Bay on Tuesday, causing more than 10 million baht in damages, but fortunately, no one was injured. The yacht, owned by a British national, was anchored in the bay while the yacht's owner and friends were having lunch on the mainland. The fire apparently started in the captain's room and despite attempts by the owner and his friends to douse the flames with seawater, it took a marine police boat and a Thai Royal Marine Region 3 emergency boat two hours to put out the fire. Being 300 to 400 meters from land and windy conditions hampered efforts to bring the fire under control. The fire badly damaged the yacht, oxygen tanks, diving equipment and electronic equipment totaling over 10 million baht. Police Lieutenant Colonel Prasar Sikonarat said an initial inspection pointed to the charging of the yacht's battery, causing the battery to explode as being the cause of the fire. And now on to our weather forecast for today. Today we can expect partly cloudy weather with some bright spells. High temperature expected is at 31 degrees and the low is at 23 degrees Celsius. Winds are very strong coming from the east-northeast direction at 27 kilometers per hour. Sunrise was at 6.45 a.m. and sunset will be at 6.27 p.m. And for your tours out there, stay tuned for our currency exchange. And here is our daily current events. Don't go away. Start the new year with a bang and race one of four in the Tribalistic Triathlon Series 2009. On January the 18th at the JW Marriott Resort and Spa, there will be a splash and dash 50 meter swim, 1.5 kilometer bike and 750 meter run, a junior 200 meter swim, 6 kilometer bike and 1.5 kilometer run, and a senior sprint, which is 750 meters swim, 
20 kilometer bike ride and a 5 kilometer run. Prizes are given for all podium finishes and medals for all finishers. For more information, visit www.tribalisticclub.com. On January the 20th, from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Holiday Inn Resort in Patong, the Punchline Comedy Club returns to Phuket with another three top-class professional stand-up comedians. John Gordillo and Roger Monkhouse from England and Kitty Flanagan from Australia are there to amuse you. Further details can be found at the website www.phuketcomedy.com And don't forget, leave the kids at home. Thank you for joining me today at PGTV News. I hope to see you again tomorrow. My name is Abel Wanamagog. Sawadee